Hey there, contractors, Jason Specker, Contractor Growth Engine, where we help contractors set the standard in their local marketplace. In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you seven different ways to get leads for your business. And before we get started, I want you to think of getting a lead stream. So let's say these seven different lead streams as seven different spokes in a bicycle wheel. The more these you have with leads coming in, the stronger your business is. If a few of those um, spokes collapse, that entire wheel can collapse, which can put business owners in a very precarious situation. So here are the seven different things, different ways that you can get leads. And typically I like to break these down into leads now and leads later. And we're going to talk about leads later first, but in the last part of the video here, I'm going to talk about Facebook ads and why this is such a great way for you to get business. So just stick around for that. But let's get into the leads uh, later now. Now, let's just say um, that you are currently not in the Google business profile right here. And I typed in, as you can see, Deck Builder Seattle right here. There's 260 searches a month just for this one search term. And it is a little bit pricey. It's a cost per click right there in the competition there. That's just a tool I have. But to get in here takes time. It takes money or it takes uh, time. And, and, you know, somebody with a really good skill set, if you're the business owner, you know how to do this. This is going to take time, but once you get in here, I call this the holy grail of uh, local marketing. If you can get into that area, people are searching with intent. They're searching for a solution to a problem. And if you are a deck builder in Seattle and somebody clicks on that, you're going to be loving the phone calls that you get from it. Not to mention it gives you a chance to promote how awesome you are with your, te your, your, um, your reviews um, and all this different stuff. So if you're not there, that is something that you, you should really, really shoot for in your local market. Obviously, if you're in a bigger city, it's going to take longer to get there. But when you do get there, your phone is going to ring. The second area for leads later is down here in Google. This is just the organic search results. Uh, this is where SEO comes into play. And if you can get into this area right here, you will get clicks to your site. You'll get traffic. You'll get calls. You'll get lead forms. This does take time. It does take money because it's typically pretty competitive. People want to be there. And so people are competing with each other. And uh, sometimes that can change, you know, uh, based on algorithm uh, updates that Google makes. Or there could just be more competition, people spending more and doing more work and trying to outwork you to get into those spots. But that is a fantastic place, again, because it's intent-based searches. These people are looking for a problem. And if you show up when they're looking for their problem, then you're going to have an opportunity for a pretty hot lead. Okay, now the next uh, uh, leads later strategy is through one page case studies. Now, this isn't a common thing that a lot of people do. Um, I have learned this from a very, very bright marketer. And uh, this is something we've implemented into our business. Uh, basically, a one page case study is when you go out, you take before and after pictures of your site. You give bullet points, uh, you know, of the of the job. And these can be jobs you've already done, and basically, um, you you structure the case study a certain way, and then ultimately you, you put it into a press release. Now, press releases can be a little bit expensive, and they may seem like a little bit of a waste of money. But if you put the right keywords in there and you go after the right search terms um, to rank, they rank very very quickly because they're coming from very high authoritative sites. Typically, press releases are picked up by different news um, outlets throughout the country. And in those press releases, they allow you most times to have at least two or three links. And those links can go back to your website, to your Google My uh, Business Profile um, listing here, YouTube video, wherever you want them to go. And uh, ultimately, um, that will help push you up in the search engine. It's not going to get you there right away. But the other thing about these press releases is they rank. So let's say it was... Uh, composite deck or wood deck or Trex deck or something like that, um, Seattle, and you put a press release out about it, that very well may, uh, may rank right away and stay there for a very, very long time. And it's a case study. It shows all the bullet points, the job, what the uh, what you did. And it's very, very compelling. When people see that, they're going to they're going to they're going to want to reach out to you. And also, if you do these, you know, one a month or two a month, it's essentially stacking proof of how great your business is. Not to mention you have, you know, let's say you do 24 a year, two a month, you have 24 links coming back to your website and 24 links coming back to your website is definitely going to help. But you're also going to be able to take those case studies and have a different tab on your website, the case studies 
and people can click on it and see all these amazing um, jobs that you've done, all these incredible before and after pictures, all the details of the job. Um, and it's really, really powerful. Then you can repurpose those and put those on Facebook. Um, you can um, you put them on your website, like I said, and then you've got them ranking online. And eventually people are going to see that. And once they see how great the work you do is, you know, you're gonna not going to be competing with on price as much as other people. And when people find you and you can bring over a binder or you can take them to your website and see all these amazing things that you've done, um, you're, you're going to be clearly the person they're going to want to hire first. And it makes a huge, huge difference. OK, uh, now let's kind of get into the um, uh, the leads, the leads now. For, let's start up. This is the uh, the Google local services right here. These are fairly new. Um, I don't think a lot of people know about these. These are different than pay per click. Basically, if somebody clicks on this, you don't get charged. But when you do get charged is when a phone call comes in or a message gets sent. Now, this is these are not available for every niche. They clearly are for deck builders. So if you're a deck builder and this is something you want to look into, you know, feel free to reach out to us. But you're going to pay for calls and exclusive calls. They're not going to everybody else. They're just going to you. And on top of that, you also can get messages through the uh, the Google Business Profile Messenger. And those are typically about half the cost of this. Plus, Google records all these calls. So if you dispute one, they'll go back and listen to it. If it's something you didn't want to get a lead for, and they will give you your money back um, so that you don't have to pay for that. So it's a really pretty cool thing. There's also a verification process that goes on. <laughs> and there's a Google guarantee, which, you know, if you want to talk about this, I'll go into this uh, with you in uh, more detail. And then, then there's PPC, which is pay-per-click right here. Um, this, again, this is intent-based searching, which is super powerful. People are looking to solve a problem with their deck. Could be a deck repair. They may want to add a deck, you know, whatever it is. But they're on this page, obviously, for a reason. They're either ready to hire, they're looking to do something in a week or two, they're looking to get estimates, or, you know, um, they're just planning and budgeting for something out in the future. But even so, these are red hot scalding leads. And if you have a good uh, process in place to deal with people, you're a good company and you have good closers, these can make you a ton of money. And you can get up here at the top pretty much right away. You bid on, um, you know, how much you want to do per click. If you're the highest per click, you can be there right away. Um, it, you know, it's a whole, it's kind of an art form and it's something you can lose a lot of money on very quickly if you don't know what you're doing. For example, if you forget to set a, bu set a budget, you're going to, it's just going to continue to rack your card and that ends up being, can be a lot of money. If you're not using negative keywords and you're sending people, you know, for example, to a uh, website instead of a landing page, these are all just massive mistakes that can cost you a lot of money. And the reason you want to send them to a landing page is you want them to make one decision and that's to basically give you their name, your name, uh, phone number and email address so that they can reach out to you or that they can give you um, a call. So if you don't know what you're doing here, um, I would highly recommend, um, you know, trying to figure out somebody to do this for you. If you do know what you're doing, go for it. This can be a very, very a good thing for a business and it can be consistent uh, flow of leads. And again, these are exclusive leads and these are things you can get you know, right away. Now, another way to get leads right away, and everybody knows these these providers, Angie's List or Angie, whatever they're called now, and Home Advisor. I think they're actually uh, one and the same essentially at this point. There's Thumbtack and these other providers. I know people hate these, but there are some people that do exceptionally exceptionally well um, with this this type of marketing and. They are shared leads, but the people that do really, really well with these, one of the things I've seen in common is they have automation in place that gets back to them, you know, right away and then continues to follow up. Um, you know, it's it's just, it's, it's it, it can be very, very good for you, but it can also be very costly and very frustrating. And um, there are definitely better ways to grow your business than with services like these, especially because these are shared leads. Now, the one that I really want to talk about in this video is Facebook ads. Okay, Facebook ads are a lot less expensive than Google pay per click and pay per call. Um, they are um, they they can get start getting leads literally right away, pretty much if you build the campaign and and you know you're doing the marketing right and you've got the right um, photos and and things like that. There's also amazing targeting so you can get in front of the right people. So, for example, if you're you know selling decks or fences, 
let's just say fences, um, you're going to probably want to target people that are married and probably people that are 30 to 60, somewhere in that range, because most likely they're going to be a little bit more financially stable and they may have kids or dogs or something like that that they want to keep in the, in the yard and keep them safe so they don't run out into traffic and potentially get hit or the dog gets loose and bites a neighbor or what whatever it may be. Um, but one of the main cons of Facebook ads is people aren't searching for the solution like they are on Google. But if you do them right, um, they are an amazing form of interruption marketing. And you, basically what you need to do is have either a killer video, you need to have uh, some amazing before and after pictures, and you need to have some type of a, a really, really nice offer um, to go with it. And I'm not saying like take 30% off. Typically you could maybe put like, for example, um, hopefully you're offering financing um, to your uh, clients for these higher end purchases so that more people can afford your service. But you know, when you put in um, a before and after picture, like my mentor has told me, uh, basically in a great Facebook ad, you're making somebody aware of the problem. You're creating a problem for them, but at the same time, you're already showing them a solution. So the, the problem might be the, the, the before picture of the fence, and then the beautiful fence after is a solution combined with a really nice financing offer um, so that they can afford it and they'll get interested and it's going to make them want to do some more research. Now, there's two different ways that you can really generate leads on Facebook. And one is through a lead form um, where essentially they click the button below to get more info and it automatically fills their name, email address and phone number out. And then essentially they hit OK and then it goes to just a basic landing page. And then they're done with the process and then that lead gets sent to you and at that point you need to follow up and and start your uh, your process on the back end now the way we like to do it is we like to take them off facebook costs a little bit more money but when you get them off off facebook and they go to your own landing page then you can really really make the case for why they need to hire you can have testimonials all over the place you can reuse those case studies again you can have before and after pictures you can have pictures of your crew you can have all sort you know can have all the awards you've won on there you can have all sorts of different different things i know you guys are proud of your work so we put your best work on there and you know ultimately they're going to look at it they're going to be like holy crap this guy's unbelievable we need to get these people out you know to our house to to you know consider uh, using them for this deck fence or whatever it is that they they want. So um, ultimately, um, we want and when they get there, they're just going to look at all the proof. It's going to be another form of, of proof stacking, like I talked about earlier. But there's just going to be two things for them to do on there: either pick up the phone and call you, or it's going to be to uh, put their name, phone number, email in, and uh, and then basically you have a lead. And a lot of companies at that point in time stop right there, and then they just say, "Here are the leads." You need to do the follow up. Well, that does not work well for most companies. Business owners are busy. They don't have time to do that. They might not have somebody in place to specifically do that. So that's where you need to have automation kick in. And basically, when that lead hits, when they're red hot and they're they're uh, thinking about it, you want to have some form of automation that sends out a text, an email, and a voice a voice drop to them in the first 15 minutes to get them engaged. And then ultimately try to get them to set an appointment over the phone with you so you can either, you know, qualify or disqualify them. Or if you prefer to get an appointment set up, you know, to go out to their home and take a look at their situation, however you want to do it. And then, for example, if they don't engage, the system, the automation will persistently and politely follow up with them until they do engage. And then ultimately, if they don't, then there's ways to get, you know, a little later on down the road, get them back in the, in the, the, the engagement process. Now, the last thing that we can do uh, to get leads for your business is if you have been marketing and you've got a 2,500, 4,000 or 1,000 people in your database that you've gotten, and it's a cemetery of dead leads, we can re-engage them with that same automation and start to generate appointments from your dead leads. So you're getting appointments with no additional ad spend. So if you have a list like that, there is a way to do that. And it's super, super powerful. Typically about two to 10% of the people respond. So let's say on the low end, you have 100 people, 10 people respond, there's 10 appointments. And if you have 1,000, then you, you can do the math. But basically, that's all I've got for you in this video. There's gonna be a link below this video in the description. Click that if you wanna set up a time to do it kind of a discovery call. I'd love the opportunity to learn more about you and your business and to see how we can potentially help you. Hope this finds you well. 
and have a great rest of your day.